Hey everyone, welcome to a new PS3 homebrew video. And today we're installing Webman Mod. It's a homebrew plugin that has many features and provides so much support and information of your PS3. We're gonna be downloading it directly from our PS3 and installing it. Just make sure you have a USB storage device connected. That way we can download it onto the storage device and then go through our package manager and install it. Obviously, make sure you're connected to the internet and you're signed out off your PSN account. So let's open up the internet browser real quick. And we're gonna do a search and go ahead and search web man. And that should be good enough. Press start to search. And make sure you select the first one, which says the Webman mod version 1.47.41 from the store.brewology.com. And there's the last release on June 8, 2022. Perfect. And you want to select the first download link right here. Hit that download and select your USB device by pressing start and it will download and copy it over to your storage device. Our download is completed. Let's hit back. Let's exit out of our browser and head on over to the package manager and under install package files, go to your standard install from the root of your storage device and there is the webman mod version 1.47 hit x and it will begin installing 14 megabytes our installation is completed let's hit back and now you'll see a new icon webman mod installer press triangle once and go to information and here we can see that there's two different editions. We have a full edition and a light edition. Hold down L1 for full edition and press X for light edition. I'm going to go ahead and install the full edition. So let's hit back and we're going to be holding L1 and press X. Installing Webman mod. After it's done installing, your PS3 will reboot. All right, let's log right in. And we now have a Webman games folder ready to go. And we have a new Webman setup, a PlayStation 3 folder, a PlayStation folder, and a ROMs folder. And you can hold down the select button to open up the VSH menu. And here we can unmount games. We have a launch mod and we can change the fan speed. So let's hit two real quick. And I just lowered the uh, fan on it because it was going a little crazy, which is nice. So you have the option to raise uh, the fan speed and you can lower it and you can also change the fan mode by pressing the X button and you'll hear a couple beeps let's hit the select button one more time you have to hold it and here you can see my firmware we have my internet connection we have my IP address my CPU temperature along with the RSX temperature and we have the available free space right below it. So I have my hard drive with 120 gigabytes and I have my USB flash drive connected that has 64 gigabytes of space. So let's see if we can change the fan mode one more time. And there we go. And let's hit system info, pressing X. Now we have that information show up there up in the corner. So Webman has a bunch of features going into this folder and under the setup you have a ton of options. 
and there's a full list of information that shows you every single thing you're able to do with this amazing plugin. You can block your PSN servers. Let's see here, fix mounted games. The last option, the PS3 Webman mod help will provide all that information for you. And you can go through this and take a look at all the different commands, all the different short paths, button combos, fan controls, game paths, so on and so forth. It's filled with a ton of information, which is great. And I'd recommend everyone who installs Webman to read up on anything that you're going to use. Just make sure you're fully aware of what you're doing and you know what Webman is capable of doing. So just make sure to uh, do a little homework here. That way you don't mess up anything on your PS3, right? Going under the Webman games, go under the Webman setup and go to the PS3 Webman setup. All right, so this looks like a web browser page. But even if you're not connected to the internet, you will still have access to this page because it's part of uh, Webman. When I first installed Webman, my fans were going a little crazy. So I just held the VSH menu and I was able to change the fans going through here. And I went to, let's see here, I went to fan mode. And that's when it changed back to the, I guess, the system configuration uh, setup. But under this page, you can change and manually change the fan speeds. So here it's under manual. And you can change under system configuration to leave it back to however it was before you installed it or on the default settings. You can enable it to dynamic fan control. Uh, do the manual speed, obviously. It's very nice. So yeah, a couple of different uh, settings here. So we have our games. And it will load up all the games that you have installed on your hard drive. And also on your USB stick if you have one connected. Well, let's go to files. And here we can access our folders. And the PS3 map. You want to be very careful going through here. I wouldn't mess around too much because you can damage your system if you're not careful. So just make sure to read up on the information. We're back under setup. And here's our CPU RSX. And we can see our fan speed and the temperature of our CPU. Very nice. And my firmware is 4.86 CEX Cobra 8.2. And at the top, we can refresh. We can eject a disk, insert a disk, restart system, or shut down. And that's basically it for that part. Once you have Webman fully installed, you can hit the triangle on the Webman installer and delete it. So that way, you're not confused into reinstalling Webman and just get rid of that. And that is how you install Webman Mod version 1.47.41 on your hacked PS3. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care guys, and I'll see you on the next one.